Ever get news from some faraway place and wonder what's really going on? That happened to me a couple of years ago. I was an unemployed journalist living in Vancouver when I saw some headlines from the Peruvian Amazon. Soldiers were shooting natives on the highway. The natives had been protesting oil and mining companies digging through their jungle. Those companies came from countries like my own. If this was Avatar, where was the blue skin? Why did the unobtainium seem so obtainable? And what happened after the battle? That's what I flew down to find out. The trail started at the jungle's edge in a dusty little town called Bagua. It took me down a river called the Marañón and into the villages of the Awahum people. Before I could say El Dorado, I was drinking ayahuasca and seeing in the dark. When I woke up, I was in Pablo Escobar's hometown, Medellin, Colombia. It's a beautiful city, with more flowers and fake breasts and dance parties than just about any other place on earth. It also hosts one of the world's biggest populations of internally displaced citizens, and they live in a very different Medellin from the one tourists see. They pour in from the countryside each year, kicked off their lands to make room for the same companies operating next door in Peru, living proof of the Ministry of Tourism's new slogan, Colombia, the only risk is wanting to stay. These places, these people, they're all connected to us. I found that out one story at a time. Yeah.